Hey, what's up guys, Ryan here. Thank you for joining me for a new video. Obviously it's Sunday, so you know we're dropping a new top five niches of the week video, and I'm gonna announce the winners from last week's giveaway. And we're doing another giveaway this week, $1,500 in prizes, what I call my print on demand mega bundle or mega pack. Uh, basically, I'm gonna give you a research tool I'm gonna give you an upload automation tool and I'm gonna give you some pre-made graphics that sell extremely well. In addition to the fact that I'm giving you the top five niches of the week for this week for your new print on demand designs. So I'm excited for it. I'm gonna go jump on my computer and we can get started. All right guys, thank you for joining me. I'm excited to jump into things. Real quick, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. This week, you can look forward to me dropping videos like this one where I'm gonna walk you through how to set up Redbubble collections. I'm also going to do a full tutorial, everything you need to know about POD Turbo. One awesome thing about them, by the way, is you can automate uploads to Amazon Seller Central. So you can automate FBM print on demand uh, listings, very cool. Also, I'm gonna do a video on my favorite Chrome extension for selling on Amazon, and it's free. All right, we need to get to last week's giveaway. There were three winners, and I realized that this software I'm using, it's called King Sumo. Uh, I love the software, but it doesn't give me your first name. I don't know if it asks you for your first name or not. Either way, I don't have your first names. So what I did is I blurred out half your emails. I also already reached out to the winners, but just so you guys know, you see this right here above where I'm pointing, probability. So you can actually increase your number of entries by doing little tasks. It's pretty much just like, hey, follow me on social media. Um, but if you do that, you can increase the chances of winning. So as you can see here, uh, the last person had a 0.13% chance. They didn't do all the uh, tasks to increase their odds. This person had 0.2 and they ended up winning. So, you know, you don't have to do all of them, but it doesn't hurt. So just letting you guys know. And we are going to be doing another giveaway this week. $1,500 in prizes split between three winners. It's my print on demand bundle. So stay till the end. I'll give you more information real quick. Let me introduce myself. If you haven't seen my videos before. I'm Ryan Hogue. I've sold over $1.7 million on Amazon to date. If you want to follow the links in the description, I've got a free print on demand mini course delivered over eight days via email, one lesson per day. I've also got a print on demand Facebook community. I'd love to have you there. All these links are in the description, by the way. I publish passive income reports on the first or second day of each month. I just dropped my July 2020 income report yesterday. If you would like to check that out, I'll put a link right here above me in the uh, YouTube cards. Also, if you're not subscribed, hit that button so that you can follow along with my passive income journey. And last but not least, I've got a full print on demand course. It's over 70 lectures now. I'm constantly expanding it. It's basically multiple courses rolled up into one. It will help you make money online. I have made over six figure profits selling print on demand and I can teach you everything I know. If you'd like to check that out, link in the description. All right, let's get into the top five niches, guys. Who thinks they know what the first niche is gonna be? Oh, how about that? We shaked we a little shake up at the top. So I'm calling this niche the vote niche. All right, I'm gonna tell you why as we go. But this is the vote niche because if you go to my search merch tool and you just type vote and you look at the results, there's a ton of sub niche potential. One of the sub niche uh, sub niches of vote is actually another niche in the top five. So I'm, I'm not going to spoil a surprise for you, but this one, we've seen this design selling well recently. However, that doesn't mean you can't come up with a slight variation of it and re-upload it to Amazon merch. I mean, this isn't protected by trademark uh, vote remove stubborn orange stains so come up with your own variation obviously these are all very similar i don't know because it's amazon merch if it's sold by the same seller but there are hundreds of these so you know you wouldn't be the first person to say oh i'm gonna clone this and make a variation and call it my own these are selling quite well yes they are all anti-trump but i didn't want to call this the anti-trump niche because the vote niche um overall at large is selling really well so this first one is doing about 347 sales a day so this is using jungle scout that is crazy this one's doing 24 daily sales so again not all of them are ranked at the top of uh of amazon merch listings so when i come up with the top overall niche that means that one of these three and it's actually this one right here is the top um merch listing that's not a part of a merch collab where it's like a big you know avengers or disney shirt uh, and then this one is doing one sale a day, which by the way, one sale a day ain't too bad. I mean, keep in mind that's daily. So it's building momentum. 
one might turn into two, might turn into four, might turn into eight, etc. It's currently August 2nd, so there's plenty of time till the elections. Also, this made me think, like I was looking up voting niches and looking for voting plus anti-Trump, and I saw a sub-niche with 113 results that had pretty darn impressive bestseller ranks. Now, this is just one row here, and I'm blocking the one at the bottom, uh, but I scrolled through the page, and a lot of BSRs were below 500,000 with only 113 results, and it's you can't fix stupid, but you can vote it out. So, hey, maybe that's a good uh, niche opportunity that you might want to get after. All right, niche number two. Black lives matter, science is real, black lives matter, no human is illegal, love is love, women's rights are human rights, kindness is everything. So, you know, I don't see many people taking to the streets arguing against these things, but I there's obviously a lot of interest in people um, feeling like they're fighting back against whoever it is that's against these things. Again, so yeah, these shirts are selling well and uh, they're still still doing great. Niche number three. All right, John Lewis. So he unfortunately passed away this week. And uh, similar to how when Ruth Bader Ginsburg was in the news, you know, if it's in the news cycle, guys, you're getting it out there. It's in the public consciousness and people that are politically charged oftentimes buy T-shirts. Maybe this isn't politically charged. Maybe this is just out of respect for a uh, U.S. politician. But he's obviously he was in his 70s when he passed. And there's a lot of good quotes. And those quotes are finding their way onto T-shirts uh, this one that says like get in trouble, get in trouble, good trouble, necessary trouble and vote like we've never voted before. So again, that's kind of tying into that vote niche. This is a sub niche of the vote niche that cross niches with John Lewis. So anytime you can cross niche major niches, you're looking at huge potential. And here's some more examples of that get in good trouble or just good trouble uh, sub niche of John Lewis. So you can have John Lewis t-shirts that are sub niches of him. Niche number four. All right. And this is, I'm calling the election 2020 niche. This one is only going to probably increase in overall popularity as we get closer to the uh, elections. And as you can see here, three popular design approaches. One of my first actually like really best selling t-shirts when I was early into my Amazon merch career, probably in like tier 25, maybe tier 100. It might have been responsible for getting me to tier 100. Um, I don't want to say what the niche was, even though it's it's trademarked. So I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just tell you. It was uh, it's it was basically this design, and it said "Save Ferris." Now I don't know if that was a play on Ferris Bueller's Day Off, or I think there's a band called Save Ferris. Either way, I didn't actually care. I just looked at Reddit. If you guys are familiar with Reddit.com, and there was a thread like, "Hey, what's your favorite T-shirt?" And somebody, I mean, I literally went and combed through that thread and made a spreadsheet of like 300 ideas, and one of them was Save Ferris. And I ended up just doing a design like this because this sells really well. And either way, you're seeing this work for political shirts as well. You're seeing the Biden 2020, the Trump 2020, the Biden 2020, which um, you got to admit that is pretty clever. So yeah, niche number five. All right, niche. Number five, I decided to, because there wasn't really a definitive niche number five. If you guys remember last week, the bonus uh, shirt that I gave you of Pluto, that one crept up in its sales rank and it's selling quite well, but I didn't see any other ones. Whereas like Alexander Hamilton, if you guys are familiar with that Broadway play about Hamilton, you know, that's like kind of bringing him back into the public consciousness. And I think that's driving a lot of these sales here. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know, there is potential to sell quite a bit of shirts under the Hamilton um, niche without trying to tie it to Broadway. I wouldn't do that because that'll probably get you in trouble. But, you know, Alexander Hamilton, the president, which I think the play is based on anyways. I haven't had a chance to see it yet. Uh, it is, I think it's online now, actually. It might be on, if I remember correctly, Disney Plus. So I need to check that out. But yeah, people love Hamilton. Um, when this first came out, man, it was like impossible to get tickets. They were so expensive. And yeah, it's definitely a popular one. So it's not gonna make you as much money as the more, you know, political niches. Let's be honest. I mean, the political niches pretty much were one through four, but it's still earning quite well. And uh, the entry is a little bit easier because it's not as flooded with results. I think when I did a search, there was like 600 something results. All right. And I did uh, Jungle Scout on the first listing here, the one that had the highest uh, sales bestseller rank. It's doing 14 sales a day. And at 1796, 
price point, which I wonder if that has something to do, some significance with maybe the year he was elected president. I don't know. I'm not that good at, uh, you know, obviously my strong suit was technology, so <laughs> not history. Uh, but yeah, it's doing really well. You know, 14 sales a day, 1796. They're doing like $3 and change. So I can't do the math right now. That might be like 50 bucks a day from one shirt. All right, looking ahead, August 13th, left-handers day. It always reminds me of like Ned Flanders from The Simpsons and the Leftorium, I think he called it. He had a store dedicated to people that were left-handed, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't seen The Simpsons in a while, but I'm pretty sure he did. August 16th, Tell a Joke Day. August 19th, World Photo Day. August 21st, Spumoni Day. August 28th, Bowtie Day. So lots of potential to sell t-shirts based on random days. <laughs> if you needed any more ideas. Bonus round, this is where I just go and I grab some some shirts that are selling well. That's the caveat. They're all selling well that I think are funny that didn't slide their way into the top five. All right, so this one I just thought was spooky. And um, if you remember a couple weeks ago, in the UK market, I showed some bestsellers in UK. And there were like three tarot cards in the top five as bestsellers. I don't understand why. I don't get in. I'm not really into this stuff, but uh, it's just interesting. All right, and then defund the media because <laughs> I got to be honest, I like this shirt for obvious reasons. I'm just a little bit tired of uh, some of the fear mongering that goes on by the mainstream media because they like to say everything's bad, everything's bad, everything's bad, and then not really tell you things like, well, maybe we misled you into thinking things were worse than they were because remember, there's, there's data behind everything, right? There's the element of truth behind everything they tell you. Anyways, I'm going off on a little tangent there that's not related to t-shirt selling. I like this one as well. Get in loser. We're doing butt stuff and it's an alien t-shirt. It's got that vintage retro sunset style design that I love that we all know sells well. So I had to throw this there in the, uh, the bonus section. All right. And then deleted. Let's see some recently removed t-shirts. So I don't necessarily know why these were pulled at a glance. Like Tito's made me do it. Uh, I'm assuming that's Tito's vodka so they're probably infringing on that uh, trademark the army exact logo being in the design next to that is probably it mountain dude related to mountain dew probably it uh let's see the john lewis maybe because it says r.i.p maybe they put r.i.p in the keywords i don't know necessarily know if r.i.p is banned completely but it's like too close to capitalizing on human tragedy when you actually put r.i.p so maybe that was why they got removed Anyways, if you have any uh, ideas of why other ones may have gotten removed, okay, or Supreme in the bottom left there. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know in the comments if I missed anything. All right, let's get to this giveaway that I know a lot of you guys are waiting to hear about. So like I said, $1,500 in prizes being given away again this week. Last week when I said 1,000 in prizes, it was actually 1,500 in prizes. I did the math wrong because Merch Ninja is giving you full access to their full suite of tools. Normally, I only use their niche research tools, or at least for this video, I'm only using the niche research tools, but they've got additional tools as well. They're giving you a full license to everything. And at a minimum, you can say for sure that they are the fastest Amazon merch niche research tool and cross uh, cross country. Or actually, you know what? We're going to talk about in a second. All right. So this is my print on demand mega pack as I'm calling it. You can enter to win by following the link in the description. All I need is your email address, but Merch Titans Automation, they are giving you a three-month license to use their print-on-demand automation tool, which I am a huge fan of. That's valued at $210, and this is per person. There's going to be three winners total. Merch Ninja Research Tools, this is three-month license to their full suite of tools, including things like the Niche Finder, uh, the BSR Gainer, which is something that I don't always share with you guys in this video, but they essentially let you they track uh shirts that have gained the like a massive jump in bsr in a short period of time which can be indicative of a new trend so you want to spend a lot of time in that part of the tool if you want to just hit some home run brand new trend out of the park that's valued at 265 dollars. and what i was going to say is that they work on the u.s market german market and uk market making it very valuable last but not least worth 20 dollars, but worth every single penny all sunsets, pre-made sunset vintage retro graphic designs. They're constantly expanding their library and you get a license to that, a limited license to that, but extremely useful. It'll help you save time when you're creating new designs because you're not going to have to make these graphics on your own. Um, they, you know, sometimes just leave it to the professionals. I'm definitely a fan of that approach and I let you guys know about it pretty regularly on this channel, but I've been really liking these graphics lately. 
All right, so you want to enter to win, you can use the link at the top there or, you know, just follow the link in the video description. And I wish you the best of luck. As I mentioned earlier, there are ways to gain additional entries that will improve your odds of winning. This tool I use, I paid for, it's called King Sumo, just so you know it's all legit. And um, yeah, hopefully I can figure out a way to get your first names so that at least I can like announce the winners with your name instead of just having to blur out half your email address. Oh yeah, but this is going to end next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So you have six days to enter, guys. Um, I look forward to making this one bigger and better than last week's. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate the fact that you watched till the end. All I ask is, hey, if you enjoyed it enough to watch it till the end, hit that like button, let the YouTube algorithm know. And guys, if you're not subscribed, somehow over 50% of you are not subscribed. It would mean the world to me if you hit that big red subscribe button. You can actually gain an entry into the giveaway by subscribing to my YouTube channel. So I appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at ryansmethod.com. Thank you.